Team Amigi Chance. All right. Um, as you can see, I dyed my hair. Um, yeah, it's not like this. I still look like I'm in the fucking 80s. Anyways, um, let's see. I can see my little lizards. I just, it's like popping up like, like this. Um, let's see. My room is a mess, so I'm not showing you guys the floor because I have a bunch of clothes that I need to clean up. Um, but right now, I want to tell you guys a few things, a few stories. Um, I'm going to tell you guys about the time I went to the hospital. It was the first time I went to the hospital. It was uni in Salt Lake City. Um, I can't remember. I think I was, um, like, 12 or 13 when I went. Um, I can't remember why I went. But when I went, I had to stay there for a week. And then that's when I learned a bunch of these, a bunch of skills and a bunch of ways to cope with with your mind and what you're thinking in your mind. Um, but anyways, like I said, my I uh, I have I I I went to the hospital the second time, and I think that one was for. A suicide attempt and um, I can't remember how I did it um, but I did and I had to stay there I was supposed to stay there for two weeks but I only went there for one and a half um, pretty much one and a half uh, and it was the same thing same drill same things that I've already learned and I'm like I gotta learn all this over again. Like, why the hell am I learning all this all over again? Um, but like I said, I went to the hospital. I went to uni again, and then the third time I went, I actually went to the actual hospital because I actually was in the process of of dying and when the when the police found me they said that they caught me just in time um i don't i it's kind of a touchy subject a touchy subject for me but i don't know what was wrong with me um i uh, When I was losing consciousness, I heard my aunt outside the door. It was pretty much mumbles. But when they unlocked my door, I heard my aunt scream and that's when I started thinking it plays over and over again in my head I had to be traumatizing for my aunt to see me in that state I keep thinking of the night my mom was at work <sighs> but I hated myself so much 
and I hated the way I was living, and I hated the way that I hated how much I had to think about, and I hated my past, and I hated having to think about my past constantly. And eventually, I just lost it, and I couldn't do it anymore. But I will never forget how my aunt came into my hospital room and I wouldn't talk to her. I wasn't talking to anybody. She thought I was, she thought I was mad at her. And she thought that I hated her for what I did. For what she did for saving me and And then my little brother My brother had no emotion at all. And it's almost like he it's almost like he like was in shock. Like you know when you get in shock and you just sit there and you just don't feel anything. It was like almost like he was in that state, but I saw my sister and she was sobbing. And then my mom told me that my sister thought it was her fault. And I had to tell her that it wasn't. I had to tell her everything. And then I had to tell her that I wasn't going to be coming home for a few days. And she had the hardest time with that. My little sister, my little brother mean the world to me. Even if I don't, even if I don't show it, they will always mean the world to me. <laughs> I remember my sister hugged me so tight. And I told her, I tried, I tried to let them, make, let them let me come home, but they wouldn't. And she wouldn't let me go, and I didn't let her go because I wasn't gonna see her like four or five days, and I really wanted to see her. I wasn't able to see either of my siblings. I was, my mom came and saw me every day. And then I didn't get to see my sister and my brother. And I regretted everything that I did. I thought no one will be affected by this. Everyone will forget in a few days. But... When I realized how many people actually were affected by it, It made me realize, like, it made me realize, wow, like, I've got people who love me, love me and care about me. Um, the point of my story is that if you're going through this, you got to tell someone. So taking action on your thoughts because though it may not seem like it more people care 
than you think they do. He's got friends and family who want to do anything for you. And they want you to stay. Though you may seem, though it may seem like nobody cares, everyone does. I had a friend kill herself just like last year or last year or the year before that, between that time period. And I remember it impacted me a lot because first she was she was a transgender. And when she was a boy, me we we were dating for a while and I really liked him. But he ended things. Um <laughs> then he became a transgender. But people were shaming him for it. Or, but people were shaming her for it. And she thought she couldn't go on anymore. <sighs> Everyone that knew Jasmine drew a butterfly on their arm. Is the is the symbol of chance, and they put a J in it for Jasmine. I will never forget her. I tell this story to so many people who tell them it's not worth it. More people care than you think, and once you're gone, you're gone. Like. How do you think it's going to impact the people around you? I mean, if my sister were ever to do it, <laughs> or to ever attempt, or if I were to ever find scars on her arms and legs, and or legs or any of that, I would feel like it was my fault. Because I was an influence on that. It scares the hell out of me. It scares me to death. That it's going to happen. So I'm like hoping and praying that this will be a good year. Be strong. No. I attempted again just a few days ago. I just got scars all up this arm. My arm is now darker than this one. It's not worth it. It's really not worth it. Just remember that. I'll put the suicide hotline number in the description down below. So you guys know. There's people out there that will care about you. And who will love you. And just... You're not alone. There's people who want to help. And I need to realize that too. I still haven't even thought about it. Anyways, enough with the touchy touchy. Uh, touchy touchy feelings. I like this. I like what's this word? Anyways. Um, just trying to lighten the mood. Uh, I want to tell a joke. Alright. Where do little sodas come from? Like, where are they made? guess? The answer is mini soda. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that lightened the mood. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment down below, subscribe, and like the video. Um, please just give me to so many views and so many likes because I need to get to 10,000 views before I am able to be paid on this channel. Anyways, Let's just, yeah. Bye.